let's see what we have here. Welcome to, to Thursday Thoughts. This is a weird, different thing, isn't it? Well, I finally bought this Rode Video Mic Pro. I'm going to leave this unedited as possible because that's kind of how I do Thursday Thoughts. Finally bought it, Rode Video Mic Pro. Testing it out right now. It is on the first setting, or the middle setting. It's on the on, first on setting, negative 10 dB. So this is how it sounds. I wanted to do a test. And this was like the good way that I can do it. So now you get to hear how this new microphone sounds better than the input or the internal. Okay, now it's first setting still. Now it's at zero dB. This is zero dB. This is, I don't know if it's any different or not. That's why I'm doing these tests, but I'm going to upload this because why not? So this is me in my room on my bed. Oh boy. Okay, so there's that. Now this is the first setting still, but it's at 20 plus dB. Okay, let's see how this sounds. First setting plus 20 dB. I'm just trying to figure out how in the world uh, this works because I learn by doing, right? I can read instructions, but in order for me to really grasp, I need to do it myself. So there's that. So this is it. I think it changes the settings while recording. I'm not sure. So going back to negative 10 dB negative 10 dB right now, okay. Uh, going to the second on setting. I almost broke the on switch. Literally just bought this, I don't wanna break it. So this is the second on setting. I don't know what it does. I think it just cancels out more noise. I don't know, we're gonna find out. You get to find out before me. Well, actually that's not true because I have to edit it. If I edit it, I mean put it up there. Okay, now we're going from negative 10 dB to zero dB. Okay, now it's at zero dB on the second on setting. Oh boy, this is kind of fun. Uh, uh, yeah, welcome to Thursday Thoughts. This this is the Thursday Thoughts. I might do a little little uh, talky talk bit, but I'm testing this out. Okay, so now second on setting, plus 20 dB. And we'll see how that sounds. This is how it sounds. Hi, I don't have to have a microphone like right in front of me like I usually do. Uh, this is a long time coming. I really needed to buy a new microphone. And so I finally bought it because I want to do videography stuff for clients and not just edit. So this is going to help a lot. And I'm going to go back to the original settings here, which is first on setting and then negative 10 dB. We'll see how that sounds. But yeah, I finally got the new microphone and I'm super excited. It's really great really happy with it it's great so you've noticed that i haven't been posting for two weeks that's because the album is still in the progress right that's the dumb thing because like i wanted to get most of it recorded by the end of well i want it to be released this month that's the plan but i also i lost my train of thought <laughs> i'm so smart <laughs> This is why I edit my videos, man. Um, so that's fun. But yeah, I think, I, oh yeah, album stuff. So basically, I think what's gonna happen, I'm like way too low on the shot. There we go, that's better. I think what's gonna happen, I wanna release it this month, the album, still working on it. We still have like three to four songs to record and I wanna get all of it recorded before he went back to school, but he's already in school now. So I'm waiting for lyrics from him but uh, this, this project has taught me patience, or at least it keeps teaching me patience whenever I do a collaborative project of some sort. Uh, some of the time, I get a little agitated, just a little bit, uh, depending on, on the person. Now, it's not true with every collaboration, but with this specific project, I probably would have gotten the album fully recorded if it was like my project, but it's our project, and so I have to wait for him. Which is why the album is taking longer than I wanted it to, but nonetheless, it's going to be good because of it. So I'm not really complaining. It's just that videos have been on halt because that album needs to be priority because I want all of the creative energy or most of it to go to that because I'm still doing client work. If you didn't know, I'm, I do video editing for people. That's now my job. So I do that. I finished. A, I did. I edited a video like yesterday. This was supposed to be the video that comes out like when I get my album done. But honestly, I'm just talking in the camera, cause why not? I already have this set up. Why not? 
So you're getting this early. This is probably going to, I'm thinking about doing an update video on the main channel once I get a video finished and once the album is finished. Because my thought is releasing the album on a Friday night and then premiering the full album on this channel, like as a premiere, it's going to be really cool. So that way you can listen to it from start to finish all the way through. It's going to be really cool. Uh, and then also somebody talked to me about making an instrumental album for that. And I'm thinking about it. I probably will make an instrumental album of Nebula. That's probably what's going to happen because I do like the instrumentals on that. So that'll be a thing. And then I'm also thinking of doing a commentary with me. And that'll probably come out later, like maybe a week or two after because the hype you know but because i want people people have to watch the original or watch wow it's not gonna be animated i wish that'd be cool but no uh listen to the album they need to listen to the album before they listen to my commentary because a lot of thought and effort is being put into this album like it's crazy i have a specific vision for it and it's gonna be amazing like it's gonna be better than you expect hopefully that's what i'm hoping um but yeah, whenever I'm waiting on Ethan, which is my friend who's on the album, I like to do my own music stuff, which is why I've been posting stuff to SoundCloud. So that's been fun. That's been really fun. Uh, I actually released a single, like, uh, yesterday, because I was on Spotify, I was looking through my Discover Weekly, and there was this cool lo-fi song that appeared, and so I started freestyling on, on it, and I'm like, whoa, that's kind of cool. I do want to try to write something, so I wrote something on that beat. I didn't make the beat. I was just like, I want to do this. And so I did, because that's kind of how I work. Uh, Mana Chapa so is like a fully original song made by me. Like I made the beat, I made the lyrics, wrote the lyrics. I did everything with that. So that's like my song. So it's great. Yeah, I'd probably do like Helium a little bit more, because I feel like the flow and like the emphasis is better. I'm not too sure though. Um, but again, it's just like me, like not freestyling. I did right, but it's not really my beat. I just wanted to, to do something there. I think that's helped grow me in that, in music. Um, fi finally starting to find my voice with music because I have all of these musical influences, both in SoundCloud, like SoundCloud rapper community and just like artists in general. And so trying to find my own style with that is interesting because I've been listening to NF for, for, for since his mansion album came out since like 2015 2016 whatever so he's obviously been an influence but i don't want like to be labeled as like nf clone or whatever you know because i just want to i just want to do me you know and a lot of my music has been like electronic so maybe i should just stick with that but i want my solo project which i'm considering doing a solo project eventually but it won't be when i do the solo project it'll be a side project like it won't be a full focus like this album you know um so but i do have an idea for the the solo project i have an idea for like my whole musical shtick so it's gonna be good i'm excited about it um yeah i'm just really i'm really passionate about it so that's good i really like how the songs have turned out so far i actually showed them on an inst on instagram on my live stream and they people really liked it so that's good it's very good um I'm still talking. Why am I still talking? I don't know. Because I can. Because I haven't done this in a while. I haven't set up the camera and just talked in a very long time. No scripts. Just talking. And it's kind of nice. Because I've just been really busy with client work. I've been really busy with music stuff. Haven't really set up this camera in weeks. Like almost a month. It feels weird. But it's good to be not back because I'm not back yet. I want to come back to YouTube once. I have a fully finished Gems of the Internet, which I'm still editing. Like I haven't edited it in a while due to client stuff and music, whatever, but it's still in the editing phase. And then the other thing, I lost my train of thought again. This is why I write scripts. I don't know what's up with my brain. I just keep talking and then it's like, nope. And then it stops. I started my music stuff, things. Yeah, I don't know. I think unedited videos are interesting because you get to see how the person actually is in real life. So I think that's an interesting concept. And that was an attempt to recover my train of thought, which didn't really work. Darn it. I watched Interactive Introverts on DVD. I got that for Christmas. That was fun. That doesn't relate to this. I just wanted to say that because it was actually a really funny show. Uh, Dan and Phil are great. I wish I would have gone to their live show. Honestly, it would have been great. Would have been great. Uh, 
see, I lost my train of thought. And then I was going to say something that related not to that, but to the point before. But now I can't remember it because that was going to be the leading end thing. And now this is at 10 minutes. I should probably shut up. <laughs> I should probably just stop. But yeah, so because, yeah, the battery's at two bars. I don't know. It's very relaxing. This is very chill. Like I've gotten, I've gotten used to the camera pretty, pretty well, I'd have to say. And so this is kind of like relaxing for me. It's not relaxing when I have to say lines 30 times, but that's because I want to deliver the line as good as I possibly can, which is why recording takes me like an hour. I edit it down to like five minutes. <laughs> that's how I roll. Um, yeah, I still got to exercise today. And I tweeted out saying that I was going to exercise today. So that means I really have to exercise today. I did some errand stuff earlier, which is why I haven't done it yet. I usually do it early in the morning, but I haven't because of that. Ate Subway. That was cool. I'm done. I need to turn off the camera now. <laughs> I think I've missed this, though. I think it's good that I've gotten a, a little break from YouTube because I was posting weekly for like a month. No, not a month. Wow. A year, basically. Sure, there has been some breaks here and there, but for the most part, I was keeping up the weekly schedule pretty well. And so I think doing... Like the music stuff is, is really helping me because I feel like the videos have gotten a little boring recently. Like it's not, it's starting to become samey and that's scary because it's like, yes, I found my style, but I always want it to be different and new and refreshing somehow. I don't really know, but I'll figure it out. I always do probably do more skit stuff in the videos. Honestly, that's always fun to do to implement that. It also makes it an easy way to collaborate with other people because I know so many people who do skits. So those are easy collaborations. It's it's a no-brainer. But yeah, so I think I'm done. I think I should because I don't want to waste any more of your time. Truly, I know you're going to be like, oh, you don't waste my time. I get it. I'm just saying like you could be doing other things instead of watching me talk for 12 minutes. Why? But yeah, Thursday thoughts. Here you get an extended Thursday thoughts. Wow. Who knew, right? This is the perk of being subscribed to the extra channel. I post whatever I want. And apparently that's music. <laughs> it's been all music on this channel, apparently. So, because I want to keep my main channel focused and fresh and like good to look at and not live streams, which is why I unlist my live streams. I put them in the playlist so you can still watch them. Don't, they're not deleted. Calm down. I'm done because my mom just got a customer and they're going to be outside of that door talking. So I might as well end it here. Thank you for watching me talk. I haven't done this in a while, as you can tell, because I have a lot to say. So hit me up on Discord. Discord link will be in the description. I'm on there every single day, so if you want to, like, hit me up, Discord is a very easy way. Plus, we have a great community there. So follow the Discord, social media, whatever. I don't just – you can find me, Master ETH. I mean, who else has that name? Like, let's be real here. I don't think anybody else. I think I'm good. So – Bye.